another build video for you. Uh, this is going to be my uh, VMA and Veteran Vatatrain Hollows uh, build. Uh, it's pretty easy to get. Um, doesn't involve a whole lot of like super fabulous things. Uh, what it does involve uh, though is a mythical item called the Pale Order Ring. Um, if you don't know how to get that, there's plenty of guides uh, around uh, to get that. It's actually pretty easy. It's one of the easiest mythics to get. And uh, it's, it's actually a pretty good mythic set, uh, especially for PvE content. wouldn't recommend running it in dungeons, but I would recommend running it uh, in the content that I have outlined here. Ve veteran Maelstrom Arena and Veteran Vatishran Hollows. Now, um... For perspective, I've got my best scores I've, I've achieved yet on, um, uh, this is, uh, PC, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, um, so in Maelstrom I have gotten 574k, today I got 572, I died once, um, to a pretty dumb mistake, I'm gonna upload the whole run, um, so it'll be, basically it'll be the boss montage uploaded first. Um, and then this build video, and then I'll upload the whole run uh, following that. So, um, anyway, it's kind of weird how you don't get ranked, man. It only goes down to 70 for PC. But Vatishran Hollows, um, I actually achieved a 251k score, um, which... Landed me a uh, weekly drop. I got the resto staff. Um, but uh, yeah, so this build uh, is pretty pretty awesome. Um, so build videos are actually pretty easy uh, to do on uh, PC, as you can see. Um, so I messed up on the ghost. I wasn't able to. Uh, burst this guy down. That's par part of the reason why uh, things got messed up. But anyway, here is exactly what I'm running here. Uh, we've got two Bloodthirsty, one Arcane. Uh, we got the Inferno Staff of Mother Sorrow infused with the Fiery Weapon Damage enchantment. We've got the Maelstrom Perfected Lightning Staff. Uh, this is I think this is a must for uh, VMA, period, uh, and Vatishrain Hollows. Um, absolutely a must. Um, and the reason why is because the heavy attack, uh, the off balance, gives you a little bit more resources back. It's just really good for sustain. And I know Sorks have like the worst sustain in the game, pretty much. So um, we run a weapon damage and chain on that. If you can't sustain even with this and the False Gods setup, you need to run. Um, Absorb Magicka enchantment. Uh, for the hat, we're running a False Gods. Perfect, uh, not perfected. None of this is perfected, actually. That's why this is so easy uh, to get. Um, so we're running a False Gods hat, infused. And we're running a Health Glyph on that. We're running Valken Scoria's Epaulets. So this is like a full, full 7 light. Um, the epaulets, uh, the reason why we're running that is for the uh, spell penetration. This is going to be a massive, massively good thing um, to have. You want the extra spell damage, uh, spell penetration, excuse me, for this. We're running a robe of Mother Sorrow. Mother Sorrow is a great set. It just basically gives you all crit. Now, I've got most of Medusa, and I think I need a neck of Medusa. Once I get Medusa, I'll be running Medusa and False Gods instead of this. Uh, but right now, it's Mother Sorrow. And then the False Gods. Now, the reason why we're running non-perfected as opposed to perfected. Um, perfected, it doesn't really matter anymore if you run perfected. They nerfed it down to basically, like, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. False Gods is pretty much dead in most content. I still run it on a Sork in VMA and Vatishran Hollows because the sustain is just amazing. And then, of course, the Ring of the Pale Order. Now, the Ring of the Pale Order, 
uh, it gives you 18% of the damage you deal as health up to a maximum of 2750 per attack. Per attack. So this just heals and heals and heals. Um, spell damage on that. It comes bloodthirsty, so you don't have to mess with it. You can make this infused if you want to. I would just recommend reconstructing one if you want it infused. See, that's pretty much uh, what we have here. Um, so we'll go... We'll go to our bar setup. So for our uh, first ability here, we're running uh, Force... Force Pulse. Force Pulse uh, does a, all three elements uh, as damage. Um, it's really nice and it has a nice little cleave too. So up to two, enemy, two nearby enemies will take 8,050 magic damage if they were already afflicted by burning chill or concussed status effects. Um, this is another sustain ability. It's our execute, our class execute. We're running Endless Fury. Um, if an enemy is killed within five seconds of being hit with this ability, you restore 4860 magicka. Amazing. Uh, crystal frags. Uh, we only use this on the proc. Casting a magical ability has a 35% chance of causing your next crystal frags to be instant, dealing 66% more damage and costing 50% less magicka. So it's a no-brainer. It uh, It needs to be cast on the proc only and uh, do not hard cast this although hard casting it does proc it so that's a new change uh, we're running this for the extra health and a little bit of um, basically it just takes aggro off you if if it attacks an enemy it'll hold aggro actually it's pretty cool uh, I went and uh, tried to solo a couple of those dragons in uh, northern elsewhere and uh, this thing actually tanked a dragon so interesting Running Elemental Drain for more sustain. Um, I know this is like a little bit overkill. And also the, the penetration. Uh, it's not necessarily needed, but why not? Um, you could substitute this for um, Mystic Orb. Uh, Mystic Orb could definitely take the pl place of this, um, but you may run into sustain issues, possibly. For our back bar... Unstable wall. It's always unstable wall with Magicka classes. Uh, the cleave is just too good. Um, so basically this thing can knock people off balance with shock. Um, and then obviously once... Once they're off balance you can go ahead and heavy attack and get some resources back. More healing. Critical surge. This also gives you um, major brutality and sorcery. Increasing your weapon and spell damage by 20%. While active, he dealing critical damage heals you for 3,300 health. So this is part of the reason why we run Mother Sorrow. Uh, and we will be running Medusa once we get the pieces of Medusa all set and ready to go. Boundless Storm. Uh, so Boundless Storm is basically our majors, our major resolve. Uh, people sleep on major resolve. I don't see why you would. This also gives you major expedition as well for four seconds. Um, so th th not only giving you about 6,000 resistances uh, doing damage, it also gives you uh, move fast, major major expedition. So super nice, super good. Um, I would definitely use it. Uh, I don't know why people wouldn't. And then obviously we have to double bar to summon Twilight Tormentor. And then uh, for our very last oh shit button, we have the Hardened Ward. Uh, Hardened Ward gives you 14,000 damage. It, damage shield depends on your health, really. So however, however much of this health you have uh, will tell you how much Hardened Ward you have. So, um, so let's check out uh, fully buffed here. Fully buffed, we're at about 1664 Magicka Recovery. Uh, we've got about 4,000 spell damage, 50% uh, crit. Uh, we've got uh, 20,000 spell resistance, 15,000 physical resistance. Now, 
with our uh, back bar enchantment uh, proct, we will have over f almost 4,500 spell damage. With all that, uh, with all that proct, so this is this is actually a pretty good uh, setup, honestly. Uh, definitely recommend running this. Um, also, uh, part of this build, I am a high elf. Uh, for food, uh, we we have a couple of different options. Um, you can run this if you want more sustain, ghastly evil. Uh, but I run witch mothers. It's a pretty cheap alternative on uh, on PC and A man. Uh, Clockwork Citrus Filet is just so friggin' expensive. Perfect rows are like 18, f 15 to 18 K a pop. Um, even if you know how to craft this, it's still gonna be expensive to craft it. So yeah, I use Witch Mother's Potent Brew. I carry a bunch of these Crown Repair Kits on me, and for the pots, I just craft my own Essence of Spell Power. It's cheap. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal to craft these. And uh, they do the job quite well. So yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, with this build, I've I have gotten Flawless Conqueror and Spirit Slayer. Spirit Slayer is the uh, trifecta in Vashran, and Flawless Conqueror is uh, the the title that you get for completing Maelstrom without using sigils and not dying. So. Uh, super good build. Uh, I hope you really enjoy this one, and it's easy to get. Just go pug a couple of uh, Sunspires and Craglorn, you'll get it no problem. Uh, the False Gods, just run a bunch of Sunspires. It's basically what I did. I haven't been into Vet Sunspire enough to get uh, my uh, perfected False God yet. I got a couple pieces, but I don't have enough uh, to put together a set yet, which is fine by me because I don't really care. Uh, regular False Gods working great. So anyway... I hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. It's free, and it certainly helps me out. Uh, helps out the uh, the algorithm for these videos. And uh, as always, I will see you in the next uh, video. Take care. Peace.